Today I'm going to be making Peeps. These are no-bake Peeps cereal bars. So this is a good way to use up some of your cereal. If you bought a lot of cereal lately like we have, uh, this is a good way to use it up. You will need three cups of Cheerios, three cups of Peeps, two cups of dry roasted peanuts, you need an entire bag. This is a 10 ounce bag of the M&M's Mini. These are milk chocolate uh, baking bits. You need one cup of light corn syrup, one cup of sugar, one and a half cups of peanut butter. We use Jif peanut butter, but you can use any kind you want. And one teaspoon of the Baker's Imitation Vanilla Flavoring. So the first thing you wanna do, we have our corn syrup already measured out here. You want to turn your, um, burner on and you're going to mix your corn syrup and your sugar and you are going to uh, bring this to a boil and all this is going to dissolve. While we're waiting on that sugar to dissolve, you're going to mix in a, in a large bowl, you're going to mix your cereal and your peanuts and your M&Ms. And I'm just gonna whoop, toss them without knocking them in the floor. This looks like an awesome party mix. I swear you could put some powdered sugar in here and call it a day. <laughs> looks really good. So I'm gonna let this dissolve, come to a boil and we'll be back. Once this is boiling, you quickly take it off the burner and you add in your peanut butter. You wanna just work fast. And I wanted to tell you too, if, if you don't have peep cereal, you don't have to use peep cereal. You can use um, uh, Fruit Loops, I would use something colorful just because I think they're pretty looking. So Fruity Pebbles or Fruit Loops or, or something like that. Lucky Charms with the colorful marshmallows. Fruity uh, Pebbles would be good. I would use, yeah. I like the texture in there. Yeah, and Fruity Pebbles would be really good. So you could use those, um, but I just have the Peeps and uh, that was my vanilla. I have the Peeps and so, um, I want to use it up. So you would just want to stir this in. Now you pour this mixture, see it melted all that peanut butter? Pour this mixture over your cereal. you want to coat all of that cereal. And let me tell you, when I said use a big bowl, you need to use a big bowl because this is a lot of cereal. But look at the color. That is so much fun. That just looks like a bowl of fun. This looks like uh, it would be fun party food. Like if you were having a theme, like a circus theme or something, it just looks like a lot of fun. But that peanut butter cools off quickly, and uh, so you want to um, you want to try to work as fast as you can to mix this in. And then I have a cake pan, and I've lined the cake pan with parchment paper. And those little clips you see on the sides, those came from some um, clothes hangers that we bought and those were to hang your your pants up and we didn't use them so we took them off the coat hangers and we use them to hold our uh, parchment or chips or yeah chip bag we use them as chip clips okay so there might be some loose pieces on the bottom i don't know I, if there is i'll i'll smash them in here see put it all into this pan and it smells so good it honestly the smell of it the combination of the, the peanuts and the M&M's makes it smell like a peanut M&M. 
Okay, so now, you're gonna, now that I've got that in there, I can take these off. I just wanted it to hold this in place. So you need, you're smashing it into the pan, and I didn't grease that parchment or anything. I just it, it shouldn't stick. But these these will firm up. Um, that that peanut butter will firm up pretty fast. It cools off fast. Okay, so. Now, you just let these sit out on the counter. Um, you don't put it in the refrigerator or anything, just let it sit out on the counter. Um, I'm gonna leave it for several hours and, and really let it firm up well, and then we'll come back and we'll cut them into bars. These have been sitting for several hours and you can touch it and feel there's nothing gooey or anything. So I'm just gonna lift the whole thing up. I have a cutting board here. I'm gonna lift the whole thing up and move it over to the cutting board. And then what you do, and see your pan is your pan is clean. <laughs> and so then you cut it into bars, whatever size bar that you want. And so I'm just gonna just cut it just like you would um, cut a, a cake or anything else. But if you have a um, if you have a decorative tin. You could put them in a tin, uh, you store them in your Pyrex bowls, whatever. You could cut these up and, and give them away. Look at the side of this though. Look how pretty that is. Very pretty. So, I'm gonna cut these. And um, then when I get them all cut into bars, Kevin and I are gonna try one. try these because when um, you smell the peanut butter, the peanut butter is very strong and they're very thick, mm -hmm. they're good size. Big bar. Mm -hmm. Get on the edge. Mm. That's honestly softer than I was expecting it to mm -hmm. be. I'm going to say this right now. I don't know how you could not like that. I don't know how anybody. Unless you just absolutely didn't like chocolate or peanut butter. Uh huh. I don't know how anybody could turn that down. Well, I know how you could turn it down because it's so big. But. I don't know <laughs> You could cut them into smaller bars than I did check. Mm -hmm. That's delicious though. You get um, the peanut flavor. Mm hmm. You get the peanut butter and, and the chocolate. Yes. Uh, that peep cereal doesn't really come through really strong. No. It probably does affect the flavor, trust me, but it doesn't come in like, oh, that's peep cereal. Mm -hmm. I think if you use some stronger cereals in there, like the Fruity Pebbles, Fruity which Pebbles. a really, really strong flavor, yes. I think that flavor would stand out more. Yes. Um, if you did Golden Grahams, which are the square, you know, because I love those anyway. Right. Those have a little bit different flavor. Those are, those would really stand out too, I think, because just the start, flavors are stronger. Right. But I like these. Oh, I love it. I, I told Kevin this is a fat kid's dream. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, this has everything in it that you want, you know, all the, the goodness mm -hmm. that you want. And I think if, unless you're getting like, um, you know, grape nuts or something, any of any sugary cereal, yeah. you can do six cups of anything. And it yes, would be fine. You could, yeah. Rice Krispies, eh, maybe not. Maybe not Rice Krispies, but any, pretty much anything else would, mm -hmm. would go. Maybe Rice Krispies. Any though. round, I think round crunchy cereal mm -hmm. um, would do. Mm. So, I, like I hope you make these. They were super easy to make, no bake. It didn't take long at all. Mm -hmm. And they probably would have been set even sooner than when we tried them. I was just doing other things and this, you know, left them uh, probably about two hours. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.